Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss the single line diagram of typical power system. First of all, I would like to discuss what is power system. So, power system is nothing but it is a group of uh, interconnected network uh, which comprises of number one, power generation. Okay. Power generation. Uh, second one is called as power transmission. Power transmission. And the third one is known as power distribution. Power distribution. The combination of these three components are generally called as power system. You may call it as grid also. Okay, grid or power system. Okay, all are interconnected. Fine. So that is why it is known as power system. Now, there is one uh, terminology called single line diagram. It is also known as SLD. What is single line diagram? So in electrical engineering, Single line diagram is a method to represent the entire system by using certain symbols and it's just like a flaw diagram. So yeah, I'm going to discuss the importance of power system by using single line diagram. So you can represent entire power system by using a single line diagram. Let, let us see how it is possible. Now everybody can see the single line diagram of typical power system on the screen. So you already know that power system is divided into power generation, power transmission, and power distribution. So first block is power generating station. The power generating station is the first component of power system. Usually, the examples of generating stations are hydro, then a nuclear, then a steam thermal. Even you can categorize some renewable energy sources also, RES, like a solar, wind, biomass, etc. So the combination of uh, these power stations are generally called as power generating station. Usually, power generating stations are located at the outskirt of the cities. Okay, it's outskirt of the cities. Fine. Also, the generated voltage is restricted to around 11 kV in India because of economic considerations. Okay, econo econo economic reasons. Suppose if they need to increase more than 11 kV, more insulation and prot more protective devices are required. Therefore, the generating voltage is restricted to 11 kV in India. Fine. Next part is belong to, the first part is over, so we have discussed about the generating station. The next segment is power transmission. I would like to talk about power transmission. You have understood that Power generating stations are located at the outskirt of the city. The generated power has to be transmitted to certain distance. It may be over kilometers. Fine. So what, what to do is we require power transmission. First of all, the major the main component of power transmissions are primary power transmission and secondary power transmission. Primer, primary transmission primary transmission and second one is called as secondary transmission. Secondary. Fine. So please consider the primary transmission. Initially, we have a step up transformer that converts 11 kV to 132 kV. So usually 132 kV, you, you suppose if the distance is more, it can be 220 kV or it can be above 400 kV, depends on the distance. So I would like to make one conclusion that 
why high voltage power transmission is required here you can see it's a high voltage power transmission why it is required so high voltage power transmission so high voltage power transmission uh, is needed for minimizing the losses minimizing the transmission line losses we have to minimize the transmission line losses therefore high voltage power transmission is always preferred i prepared one video in high voltage engineering that why high voltage power transmission is required i have derived some proof also you can go through once the link is available on the particular video i button if the losses are reduced obviously the transmission efficiency can be improved therefore high voltage power transmission is required this is a first part of power transmission see it may be more than uh, 100 kilometers or 180 kilometers because the distance is more so for long distance you need to boost up the voltage you need to increase the voltage fine suppose if i increase the current what happens transmission losses will be taken place so increasing the voltage is one of the convenient option here that is why we have to increase the voltage i hope you got my point so it may run uh, certain kilometers more than 200 to 300 kilometers so uh, afterwards the voltage has to be reduced for a certain level okay because it is one it is a high voltage level because when it comes to near to the destination or near to the customer side voltage level has to be reduced at the receiving and station you can see nearby there is a step down transformer what is the duty of the transformer that converts 132 kv to 33 kv so uh, it is in the order of the 33 kV, like a 33 kV or 66 kV. Depends on the intensity you can reduce. So uh, then it fetches to a receiving station. Okay, fine. Receiving station. Here you can see different feeders. So these are representing different feeders. Just like a feeder, you can say some some feeder kind uh, connections are available here. Again, uh, the transmission line starts moving on. Uh, this transmission line is generally known as secondary transmission. Secondary transmission. The voltage level of this transmission line is uh, 33 kV or uh, 66, 66 kV. Compared to primary transmission, the voltage level is less in case of secondary transmission. Now, uh, it may run for certain kilometers. Once it reaches to nearby a substation, okay, uh, the voltage level has to be reduced. That is 33 kV or it may be 66 kV. That has to come down to 11 kV. Fine, no, because already we generated 11 kV only. So anyway, it has to come back to 11 kV. Am I right? Yeah. So 33 kV has to be reduced to 11 kV. Now uh, there is a substation. Uh, substation, there are different components. However, transformer is very important component in substation. So here, uh, this, what it does, in, in here it, what it is happening, uh, 11 kV. So that 11 kV, that will be directly feeding to industrial customers. Industrial customers require 11 kV. So 11 kV will be directly given to industrial units. Directly they can access 11 kV. But as far as the domestic customer concerned, 11 kV is so huge. So 11 kV cannot be bearable uh, for domestic customer. So what to do? 11 kV has to be reduced to lower level voltage. So we require uh, one more distribution transformer. So what is the duty of the transformer? The duty of transformer is to convert 11 kV to uh, 415 volt. So uh, the, the first segment is generally known as uh, primary distribution. That means the 11 kV line. 33 has converted to uh, 11 kV. This particular line is known as primary distribution that is applicable for industrial customers. When it comes to the domestic customer, we need a secondary uh, distribution. The secondary distribution, what it does, it converts uh, the 11 kV to, uh, the 11, 11 kV has been converted to 415 volt. So the duty of uh, this particular secondary distribution is for domestic customer. Okay, domestic customer. So we have got how much? Uh, 415 volt we have got 415 volt it will be three phase only okay it's a three phase so from three phase you can convert into single phase because you already learned about the star connection okay uh, so from uh, 415 volt it is easy to convert uh, 230 volt because we are belong to domestic customer we are staying in house we require only 230 volt so it is possible because in uh, star connection you know it's a three phase three wire system okay like uh, i'll be drawing here so, in this fashion, you can write R, Y, B, N. All together, it will be uh, 415 only. 
but I require 230 only. What to do? You take one, one, one line and you take another neutral point. So this becomes uh, 230 only, 230 volt. So that the domestic customer will be convenient with the 230 volt. So these lines are called feeders. Can you see that the different feeders are available? Feeders, it's a very important part of distribution. Okay, if you talk about distribution, feeders are very important. So this is an overview about uh, the power system. I think you got an idea. Now we can go through what is power generation. Power generation usually uh, the both uh, renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Uh, you'll be you have to check the install capacity in India or abroad. You can check uh, all generating stations are belong to power generating station. The voltage is limited to 11 kV because of uh, economic constraint, ec 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 economic con uh, consideration. Now uh, let us talk about power transmission. So power transmission is a, a large network. Uh, which is divided into primary and the secondary transmission. So uh, there are HV AC and HV DC transmission systems are available. So high voltage power transmissions are generally preferred to minimize the losses. Regarding the distribution, the main part of distributions are feeders. There are primary distribution and the secondary distribution. The primary distribution voltage level is 11 kV. It is applicable for industries, where the secondary distribution that is applicable for the domestic customer, it will be uh, 415 volt. Even you can convert 415 volt to 230 volt, which is convenient. I hope you got an overview about uh, electrical power system. Let me know if you are having any queries related to electrical power system. You may refer this kind of, uh, these type of textbooks. Uh, you can refer, I have referred the following textbooks. You may refer similar kind of textbooks for gathering the information. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.